Hey everybody, this is Hayden from Connect TV. Thanks for tuning in and welcome back. So this video I want to talk through how to generate multiple rows in Power Query between a date range that's taken from a, a single row. Um, I had to do this for a, a customer of mine. So if I just take you into Transform Data, show you the data, this is example data. We needed to calculate the storage costs of a vehicle um, that we had um, on site between a certain date range. Now, that vehicle may have left and, and, and come back and gone out on bookings, but what we were trying to do is, is encapsulate for each period what the, um, what the charges were or the time that it was actually in storage. To do that, we needed to generate a table in Power Query that had a row for each of the periods, the monthly periods, between this date range. One way we could do that is have a generic table here, a generic date table that has a list of periods for the last year, and we could add those periods in here. However, there was thousands of cars, and I didn't want to generate rows of data unnecessarily. So to do that, we, we used um, some code, some M code, and I'm going to talk you through how. So for starters, I'm going to add a new column. So Go to the Add column and hit Custom column. So the new column, I want to be called Dates. So first of all, I'm not going to generate the period. I'm going to generate a row for every single date. So for car one, between the 20th of November to the 3rd of March. For car two, a row between the 29th of September to the 26th of February. And the same for car three. Now to do this, um, what I want to do is, is take the numbers uh, and create create the numbers between these two date ranges. So I'm going to use a, a piece of code called um, M code called number from. If I hit the open bracket, and it's asking me for a number from any value. I take that start date. Now as you can see here, number from it doesn't give me the option of a from and to date, but I'll show you how to do that in a second. I'm just going to click OK. What that's done, it's represented, because I've used number from the date, it's represented that column as the start date in number format. So if I just change that there, as you can see, 29th and the 10th. Okay, so let's undo that. What I need to tell Power Query is that I want a, a range between two numbers, and I want it to generate rows for those. So I'm going to have to start using... Um, set braces um, so these are the set braces if you've seen these they've got lots of different names squiggly brackets curly brackets whatever the set braces in power bi it's effectively what you need to do to encapsulate a list of values and that's what we want we want a list of values so we have to cover this function this code between those now i need to get the end date um, so i'm going to do the number from end date but to tell power bi that i want to list a range between two numbers if you use two full stops or two periods if you're uh, it depends where you're from that's now starting to tell power bi that this is the start number if i do number from you also have to make sure that your m code is case sensitive and m fleet date close that with brackets and I also need to do the um, set brace close that and then click OK there so as you can see now it's generated a list and um, although this is numbers these are effectively the numeric codes for the dates between this so I'll show you that by first of all I want to expand each one of these to a new row so if I hit that option and then if I format that column as a date you can see for car one the first row it starts at the start fleet date if i go down to the end of car one you can see that the last row is the last date so what i've not done i've not put a, a six month date range in um, just to cover everything and and created data in my data model that i didn't need so this is going to increase your performance, increase your speed, reduce the size of your data model. And same for car two, you can see it starts on the 29th and it will finish on the 26th. 
Okay. Now, the next step, uh, we needed to add a period. So our periods were monthly calendar month periods. Um, so we added um, a format of year, 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 month, month. So we can sort the data as it's in the numerical ascendance. If I call this the period. Okay. So another function I'm going to use is date to text. So I want to turn a date value, which is the dates that we've just created here, into a format. Now, if you, if I just put this year, 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 month, month, that will format this as, as the the century, century, year, year, month, month. Now, that won't work. The reason is, I'm just going to show you why. It's just put year, 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 year. You have to look at um, the Power Query documentation and the ENCODE documentation because it's, everything is case sensitive. So this has to be a lowercase y. Click OK. And there you see it's taken the year from the date values. OK. So what I want to do next is it's just I just want one all of this data here. I just want one row from row one to 11 where it's just got this period. So to do that, I no longer need the dates. So I'm going to right click on here. I'm going to hit remove. And up here at the table, so I want to remove any duplicates for all of the columns. I don't want to remove duplicates um, for just one column. So to do that, you select this uh, at the top corner. I'm going to right click. And if we look down here, there's remove duplicates. I select that. And now you can see that for car one, I've only got a row for the months that were in between the start and end range. And that will allow me in, in my data model to start generating functions and queries based on the start date of the month, the end date of the month, because I know what range it's in now. And that's how, how easy this is. So um, have a go, have a play, get used to your data. And uh, I hope you found this useful. If you did, please hit like. Um, please hit subscribe if you're new and um, I will see you next time. Thank you.